Okay, that's me uh, deflector plate in now, and uh, all my legs are drilled. That one's actually fixed in, but I've got to uh, I've got to put a dog's leg in that leg now, um, just like like that there on my waste oil heater. Uh, obviously, it's going to look a bit neater than that, so I've got to uh, I'm going to grind a little chamfer back towards the bottle in there, from a little 45 or something, and just blend that in back into the bottle. So I'm going to put a dog's leg round about there, I think bring it out and then down and then there'll be a couple of little little a couple of little feet on the bottom here I'm gonna weld some feet on that so we'll see what it looks like Okay, YouTubers, welcome to Pearl. Halfway through part three, um, let's just uh, drag it over here, and I'm going to show you where we're up to now. Okay, now that's the deflector plate in. You can see it there. It's joined up in the, the back there. I've still got to cut the hole out for the uh, the secondary burn intake pipe. All these are going to be chopped down. All these I've picked up some of these. These are called dome nuts. I'm gonna make it look quite nice when it's just to finish it off when it's all painted and all that. I've got quite a few of them in that box there, so I've got hundred odd there, so that'll do that. Um there's my legs there. Okay. I decided not to put a dog's leg in him. I just decided to put one bend the bottom of the bottle and it's absolutely solid. It doesn't go anywhere, really sturdy. So also uh, I've been the scrapyard, and I've picked up this thing. This is the uh, with the flange, like I said, I would. That's going to go on there. There's going to be some nice uh, of them dome nuts all the way around here. I'm going to drill it and fix that in for the flow. Um, I've also picked up. Um, it's going to get quite heavy. This is, um, and obviously a lot of the weight is going to be concentrated on the front of the in the front of the bottle. So uh, obviously with the with the door frame there. Um, obviously the checker plate for the door and the glass and, and with the legs being on the front of the bottle there's three legs on it and there's the leg at the back there going down there okay so a lot of the weight's going to be on the front of the uh, of the heater so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some handles on this I'm going to put the handles on here as close as to the front as I can get them just to evenly balance it up obviously with the weight being at the front of it um, I don't want to put the handles in the middle because when you pick it up, it'll try and tip forward as you're carrying it. So, because um, I found now I've got the, the legs on it, you know, it's a bit awkward sometimes to get it from A to B, and it is going outside this. So, um, also, I've picked up from the scrapyard a piece of this reinforcement bar. It must have been in a, in a I don't know, a concrete post or pillar at some stage. But I picked up that length of uh, rebar. I'm going to make my handles uh, out of that on, on the bottle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some uh, cut some 45s on it, and uh, and then get them welded up. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll uh, buff them up on that buff wheel uh, and get all that concrete off them, all that concrete off there. So that's what I'm going to crack on with now. <laughs> 